What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be porting out a GSR or a B18C1 oil pump, a Honda oil pump. Uh, there's been several videos out there, but i kind of give you some tips that I did not see on some of the other ones. Um, one thing I've done, it seems like the 5.8 is the fiscal opening diameter of the plug that you're going to have to use to port out the opening. I've actually used a 5 8 bit, you know, spent 20 bucks on a bit, and then I'd ground down the entire bottom area. That way I didn't affect these threads. So what I've done, I measured out how deep this area is right here. That way the only part of this bit that is now a drill bit is gonna be that head. So when you go in here like this, and you don't have to worry about the lower part of the drill bit damaging your threads. Um, I went, I just ground it down as far as I thought was suitable for me. As you see, I got quite a bit off. All I need is a tip of that. I'll lube it really good and then uh, slowly go through there. That way it makes a nice clean cut. Then I'll go back in and uh, do a fine finish on it. That way it's nice and polished. Uh, and of course here, I haven't touched this. It's, I'm going to go through, round all the edges um, afterwards, smooth it out. And then I'll come here and round out the inside edges of all this area. Um, and everybody knows the little trick about the shim. You know, I'm gonna actually put up the proper washer underneath it. Uh, I mean, I know you can make a washer out of a ring terminal like everybody else does. Uh, I'll just drop by my local hardware store, you know, take the spring out, take the cap off, and go get the proper uh, washer. But again, 5 8 is the proper size. I think 9 16 is what the passage weight is now. Um, but this is the best insurance policy you'll buy is a $20 drill bit that you can do this with and just grind it down, custom make the bit. That way you don't screw up. And I'm probably even going to go uh, wrap this with some tape or something. That way it don't ever accidentally grab, you know. So it's a $200 and some dollar oil pump and these threads, they get caught. It's a trash can oil pump. the uh, area ported out I uh, just took my time went nice and slow um, it's actually really smooth already uh, should be able to take a just a high-speed wire bristle brush run down through there and just polish it up um, the one thing that you do have to watch for is where the oil spring goes when drilling in this area the drill bit gets right here and it tries to catch and uh, it'll hang up on you so just just keep it really slow put very very little pressure on it and it'll finally work its own way past to where you can get it through um, the key is just take your time you know nobody wants to destroy a very expensive oil pump but it actually drilled out really nicely um, now I'm just going to go ahead and deburr all the edges around all these 
areas going into it because you know you just feel everything sharp uh, the, the smoother uh, it is going in just the better flow you get and the big benefit is you get into extreme high RPMs it's just gonna flow a little better um, the Honda oil pump does a great job within standard uh, you know factory specs and plus some but you're gonna turn 10,000 RPMs you just need more flow I was able to pick up at Harbor Freight just uh, this wireless brush kit. It's a 20 piece kit. Uh, comes with this uh, extension. So it should allow me to get in there and really work on this. Uh, it's got several different sizes. So working this thing at high speed should be enough to uh, act like a fine grade sandpaper and just really smooth out everything when I'm done here. It's starting to smooth it out pretty good. Um, can't really tell by looking at the uh, camera here. But, you know, the uh, there is no lines. You can put your finger in there, in there and uh, it just feels extremely smooth. Uh, those lines are deceiving. I'm getting it worked out pretty good. You see, I've dug out the channel a little bit. I rounded every edge. And it's hard to tell, you know, without seeing a before and after picture, and I'll probably uh, post that as a uh, end result. But rounding every edge just allows the oil to flow into it smoother. Um, there was a lot of lines, grooves, cuts, um, and lips. And I've got rid of all those lips, so should help out a lot. Uh, I'm still working on smoothing it out, and uh, we'll see how this thing finishes up. Using some fine sandpaper, I think it's around a 400 grit, just to finish things up. Okay, just got finished up, and personally, I think it turned out pretty darn good. Let's see if I can get a look down the uh, pathway. Also went in here and got that all nice and rounded off. I still got a little bit of polish work to do on that. Uh, I don't want any, you know, round edges that have uh, grooves in them. So I want everything nice and smooth. Um, and like I say, I went back through with about four different stages of bits. And then about four different stages of these uh, wire brushes. I even took the drill bit that I recently done the uh, bore with, taped on sandpaper, and just manually with my hand went through everything. Um, so, either way, I'm happy with the results. Should get some good old flow. Uh, no damage done to anything on the pole, pole pump and uh, 
just hope it all turns out well. And if not, I guess uh, this video, I'll come back and be honest and put some information there that uh, things went wrong and what went wrong. But uh, I suspect everything's going to go fine. And getting ready to start putting my engine together here in about the next week and a half. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm sure some people out there will probably say I did things wrong. And that's fine. I'll take uh, the criticism. Uh, if it only makes the next person better and uh, do a better job, I'm good with that. See y'all next time.